in this lecture we are going to see some uh, theorems mainly three theorems which are uh, going to give us uh, some technique to show the uh, distributional convergence convergence in distribution so the first theorem tells that if the moment generating function of xn converges to the moment generating function of x then xn converges to x in distribution okay so theorem goes like that xn be the random variable having moment generating function xn x be the random variable with moment generating function uh, m uh, then if a, 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 m and t converges to m t for all t in a open interval containing zero so around the uh, point zero if i have a open interval on which uh, this m and t converges to m t point wise as n goes to infinity then we say that x n converts to x in distribution okay so this convergence is basically a point wise convergence and that convergence has to be true uh, for all points in a neighborhood around the point zero okay in a neighborhood around the point zero then x n converts to x in distribution okay so this is a general one in terms of the moment generating function then the next two theorems first one is basically for the discrete random variable the last, next one is basically uh, second one is basically for the continuous random so for the discrete random variable if uh, fn is the probability mass function of xn and if the probability mass function of xn converts to the probability mass function of x then uh, xn converges to x in distribution okay so this convergence again point wise convergence and this has to be true for all x belongs to r so if for all x belongs to r if 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 in x the probability mass function of x converges to the probability mass function of uh, sorry probability mass function of xn converges to the probability mass function of x uh, uh, point wise then uh, we we can tell that xn converges to x in distribution the same thing is true for the uh, continuous random variable that if the uh, probability density function of xn converges to the probability density function of x point wise for all point in r uh, then xn converges to x in distribution okay so these three theorems actually give us a uh, way to show the probability uh, distributional convergence that uh, if it is a Um, if moment generating function converges to moment generating function, or uh, PMF converges to PMF, or PTF converges to PTF. Okay. Uh, in all the cases, I can tell that distributional convergence is there. But keep in mind, when I am using the moment generating function, uh, this pointwise convergence has to be true for all t in the open interval around the point zero, or open uh, in a neighborhood around the point zero. For uh, PMF and PTF. this convergence point wise convergence has to be true uh, for all point in r okay so let us use this theorem to uh, show different examples so the first example uh, is start with that xn is a uh, random variable having binomial distribution with parameter n and pn so uh, x1 has uh, uh, distribution binomial 1 p1 x2 has binomial 2 p2 x3 has binomial Uh, 3 p3 and so on so forth the conditions we are keeping here that pn is goes to zero that means as n increases as n increases the number of trial increases but the probability of success decreases to zero okay as n increases the number of trial increases but probability of success decreases to zero and it decreases to zero such a way that n p n is a constant it has been zero is a constant it's constant obviously because n is positive pn is also positive Uh, so it is a constant, but uh, but get up than zero, but it, it it could go to zero. For example, if I take p n to be one by n square, then uh, n p n is basically one by n, so that converts to zero. But that is not uh, permitted here. So in this example, for example, I can take p n to be one by n. One of the example is p n to be one by n. If I take p n to be one by n, then lambda is one. Okay, that is one of the example. So uh, again, uh, just to state this one. So by no x n has a binomial n p n distribution such that p n goes to zero, and uh, n p n is a constant lambda which is strictly greater than zero. And we are trying to say here um, the, if x n converges in distribution, and if it converges to which random variable it converges, that's what we try to say. 
and we are going to use the moment generating function because we know the moment generating function of x10 which has a binomial n pn distribution and the moment generating function of x10 is nothing but 1 minus pn plus pn e to the power t whole to the power n now because n pn is lambda pn can be written as lambda by n so that's what i put here and we got it 1 plus lambda by n into e to the power t minus 1 whole to the power n and you know this quantity converts to e to the power lambda into e to the power t minus 1. This comes from the fact that 1 plus x by n whole to the power n converts to e to the power x. In this case, x is replaced by lambda into e to the power t minus 1. Okay, and this convergence is true. So note first notice that this moment generating function exists for all t, and this convergence is true for whatever value of t you take here. Does not matter. This convergence is true. So that means uh, this is this 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 all things that moment generating function. This moment generating function exists for all t, and then this convergence is true for all t. So this whole thing is true for all t. Now what I have to do is that I have to basically identify uh, this uh, this this uh, uh, this moment generating function. Identify the distribution function corresponding to which the moment generating function is given by this. And it is very easy to identify because we have seen it earlier that if x follow partial distribution, then uh, x has this moment generating function. So in this case, uh, a, the moment generating function of uh, xn, which has a binomial npn distribution, uh, converts to the moment generating function of x, which has a partial lambda distribution. Okay, so that means this xn converts to x in distribution. Clear? This example is okay. Now this example has a nice uh, physical meaning the physical meaning just recall that when we introduce the uh, partial distribution we did not give you what uh, what what is the motivation behind the partial distribution but this example actually gives us the motivation of the partial distribution what is the motivation motivation is that uh, the the uh, the partial distribution we are going to use when we have a binomial setup that means we have independent trial this trial result in two uh, result success and failure and I have the probability of successes. Okay, probability of successes is something fixed. So, but in this case what is happening that number of trial is very very large because n goes to infinity that means number of trial is very very large and probability of success is very very small. Okay, if this scenario happens that I have a binomial setup but the number of trial is very very large and that uh, number of uh, and the probability of success is very very small then instead of using the binomial PMF I can use the partial PMF because x n converges to x and uh, x has a partial distribution and that is the motivation behind the binomial partial distribution so partial distribution gives the approximation of the binomial distribution when n is very very large and uh, probability of success is very very small okay so uh, this is basically uh, motivation of the partial distribution. The next example again the same thing shown with the uh, shown with the theorem uh, instead of theorem 4.9. Now we use the theorem 4.10, uh, 4.10, and uh, the same conclusion we, we can able to able to see in this case also. So in this case I start with the PMF. PMF x n equals to k, which is the PMF n c x p n to the power k 1 minus p n whole to the power n minus k. Then after some um, algebra, we can write this uh, this PMF in this form. Now here you notice that uh, I keep this lambda to the power k by k factorial as it is. Uh, this n to the power k can be divided into this k factor, and then each of the factor going to one. So this part is not going to contribute in limit. This part will going to contribute e to the power minus lambda, and uh, this part will going to contribute one. Okay, this part will going to contribute 1. So that means the final limit is e to the power minus lambda, lambda to the power k by k factorial. And here also you see that uh, uh, binomial, this to binomial random variable, sequence of binomial random variable converts to partial random variable in distribution when n is very, very large and pn goes to 0. So that n pn is a constant which is greater than lambda. Oh, sorry, which is greater than 0. Okay. So let us see now another example which is. Uh, which is illustration of the theorem 4.11. Uh, so in this case, we take x n has a uniform 0, 1 plus 1 by n distribution. So uh, this is notice that so when I take n goes to infinity, that basically means that this x n should converge to 
uh, uniform zero one distribution, and that's what we we can show using the uh, density function. So density function of x n is given by this thing. Now, if you take any x in the interval zero to one, uh, you can show that uh, this this basically lies in this interval. So uh, that means that uh, I have to take the limit of this, and limit of this is one. On the other hand, if you take x is less than zero, then uh, f n x is, is uh, exactly equal to zero. So that means uh, for it will converge to zero. If x is greater than one, then I can find out n such that one plus one by n is less than x. So that means after sub n, uh, the f n x will be zero. So the limit is also zero. So that shows that uh, x n uh, converges to x via x as a uniform zero one distribution. Okay, so I hope this uh, three theorems are fine with everyone, and this theorem, as I mentioned, gives us al uh, alternative way. Obviously, I can use the theorem, I can use the definition of the uh, uh, convergence in distribution directly, so that to show that x n converges to x in distribution. But these things are quite complicated in many cases. For example, in case of the binomial one, if I try to use the definition directly, it is a quite complicated one. Uh, so this three theorem gives us the alternative way, and the theorem basically says that well, moment generating function um, give uh, if convergence of the moment generating function gives uh, uh, um, uh, convergence in distribution, convergence in the PD PMF gives uh, convergence in distribution, convergence in um, uh, PDF give me convergence in distribution. Okay. So uh, again, again, you see that these are quite intuitive because we know that the moment generating function uniquely identifies the distribution. So uh, there is a one-to-one -one correspondence. So in case of the moment generating function convergence, uh, this convergence is there. This is quite intuitive. Similarly, PMF uh, gives us uh, identify the distribution uniquely, so that and that is also there. Okay, for PDF. PDF is not unique. We have already pointed it out. But you see that whatever PDF you have, your distribution function turns out to be unique. You have two different PDF for the same distribution. The distribution function is unique because when you take the integration, it will give the same value. So that's why the PDF convergence also gives me give us the uh, distributional convergence. Okay, good. So with that, I stop. In the next uh, class, we are going to see. The limit theorem. First, we are going to see the uh, strong law of large number, and then uh, we will see the um, central limit theorem. And these two theorems, as you know, that very very important theorem.